I know that I was told that, you know, sort of the idea of Valve is that everything, everything is planned. Everything is worked out in advance. But that's a big, fat lie. Because the, the initial idea is started, and they bring an actor into the studio, and they say, you know, say these words for us. Say this computer-generated voice for us. Okay, I'll do that. Well, then, then that gives the creators other ideas. And, it, and it's a rolling process. You roll from one idea into the next idea. In the beginning, when I came in, I was just supposed to recreate the sound of a computer-generated voice. Just recreate it. And that's what I did. And there was no emotion involved. I just listened to the sound of the computer, and I repeated what I heard. But as the game continued, I was supposed to get more and more emotion into the computer, into GLaDOS. And she developed into a very sweet, passive, aggressive person. As an actor, you know, you come in, you do what you're told, you want to make your money, and sometimes you get good direction, and sometimes you don't get good direction. But it doesn't matter, and you certainly don't tell the production team any of this. But you come in, and they'll, you know, they'll give you a, a lame line reading, and you're supposed to find some emotional value in that. But this is not what this team did. They would come in, for example, explosively indignant. That's a wonderful direction for an actor. So, I must say that the production team won me over. Because so often, I get bogus direction. But this time, I was actually directed and had fun at all the sessions. Sarcasm. GLaDOS is sarcastic a lot. And that's so much fun. But while I was trying to do this, trying to build in all these emotions, I still had to maintain the computer sound and maintain uh, the pronunciation of repeated phrases. You know, aperture science and um, the enrichment center. I went to portals, uh, I, I googled portal and game, and I went to the trailer, and I just loved it. I loved hearing my voice. <laughs> and as I told the production team, I have never played a computer game in my life, but I want to play this one. <laughs> In the sound booth, you're only connected to the production team by an intercom. And they can talk about you, and you don't know what they're saying. But you trust that they're being kind. And, you know, they'll, they'll push a button, and then they'll say something to me. They'll say, a direction. No, that wasn't right. Do it again. Give us three more reads. And a lot of times what happens is they'll, they would play the computer-generated sound for me on one line, and then I'm supposed to recreate that three times with the director saying, okay, well, you know, more sarcastic or more angry or, or more irritated. So you stand in the booth hour after hour after hour. They're always very nice. They let you have water in here and maybe a pencil to take a few notes. And, of course, you want it to be interesting because... You want them to hire you again. So when they told me that there was going to be a song at the end, I thought, well, all right, who's going to write the song? And they told me there was going to be a song written by Jonathan Colton. And I listened to a song that Jonathan had written, and it, and it was very funny, very clever. So I thought at that point, well, you know, this will be okay. But I am an opera singer, so usually I sing, And I thought, well, will I be able to have the right style for the song? So I was concerned. But then before the recording, um, they sent me an MP3 file of the song, and I listened to it with Jonathan singing it, but I loved the little song. And uh, at home, as I practiced the little song, 
I tried to, you know, get back to GLaDOS's voice. You know, Aperture Science. Just this tiny little passive-aggressive computer who's all alone until people try to come in and murder her. So, of course, she gets upset. But she seems, she seems to have this real affinity for cake. And, and I want to play the game because I want to recreate the cake recipe and then put Portal on it and be able to serve it to my friends when they come over to my house.